Hello, and welcome to KLM Institute. Today, we're diving into a major story making waves across financial and legal circles, the fresh plea filed in the Supreme Court of India against Adani Group, which has been under scrutiny following allegations of bribery and fraud unveiled by U.S. prosecutors. Let's break it all down and understand what's at stake. The Adani saga first came into the spotlight in January 2023 when Hindenburg Research accused the Adani Group of large-scale accounting fraud and stock manipulation. This explosive report triggered a massive $140 billion loss in the group's market value, cancelled a 20,000 crore rupees share sale, and sent shockwaves through global markets. Adani Group denied these allegations, calling the report unsubstantiated and mischievous, but it sparked one of the largest financial controversies in India's corporate history. Now, new allegations have surfaced. U.S. prosecutors have charged Gautam Adani, the chairman of the group, along with seven associates, including his nephew Sagar Adani, in a $265 million bribery scandal. It's claimed that these bribes helped secure solar energy contracts in India, expected to generate $2 billion in profits over two decades. That's not all. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has also accused Adani Group and Azure Power Global Executive Cyril Cobains of securities fraud. The charge, misleading investors to raise $2 billion through loans and bonds. These new revelations put Adani Group back in the international spotlight, with claims of fraud targeting U.S. investors. The Adani Group, however, denies all allegations, labeling them as baseless. Despite these denials, the charges have brought the group under intense scrutiny both in India and globally. In response to these developments, advocate Vishal Tiwari has filed a plea in India's Supreme Court, seeking to bring these new allegations on record. Tiwari is also a petitioner in the earlier Adani Hindenburg case being investigated by SEBI, India's markets regulator. SEBI has been examining allegations of stock manipulation and irregularities highlighted in the Hindenburg report. This raises critical questions. If the Supreme Court allows Indian agencies to investigate these allegations, it could put immense political pressure on investigative bodies, possibly complicating the case further. On the other hand, if the court declines, the U.S. could pursue the matter independently, leading to heightened international scrutiny of Indian corporate practices. This case isn't just about Adani. It's a test of India's judicial and regulatory integrity, a reflection of global investor confidence, and a case with potential political ramifications. Will the Supreme Court allow these charges to move forward in India? Or will the US agencies take the lead in holding Adani Group accountable? Thank you for joining us at KLM Institute. Stay tuned as we bring you updates on this unfolding story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed. We'll see you next time with more insights on the stories shaping the world.